Steph Marsland from Marsland Chiropractic Centre here and today is the start of week two of Posture Month at Marsland Chiropractic and we're going to kick it off with talking about forward head posture which is also called anterior head carriage. Now your head as we've already talked about should sit directly over your shoulders and shoulders directly over your hips. When your head is in this normal position it actually weighs five kilos, puts five kilos of pressure through your neck joints. As soon as it goes forward to 15 degrees, that more than doubles to 12 kilos. And once we go forward to 45 degrees, that becomes 22 kilos. So this is a new term called tex neck that has been coming in recently. And it's um, a super, super common condition that we see really, really regularly. And this results from this extra weight being transferred through the cervical spine, your neck, and into your upper back. That's from this forward position of texting or being on your mobile device or what have you. Now, a few years ago, you know, we used to spend a lot of time doing this as well, but because of the advent of smartphones, we're doing this, we're putting ourselves into this forward posture a lot more regularly. Um, there was a study by the Kaiser, or a survey by the Kaiser Family Foundation that found that kids between eight to 18 years old are spending seven and a half hours on their mobile devices. So this leads to a lot of extra pressure through still developing necks and can really affect their posture detrimentally. When this is affected detrimentally, it not only creates poor posture and obviously doesn't look that great, but it also causes early degeneration of your cervical vertebrae and muscle spasm through the neck, it can also lead to decreased production of endorphins from your brain and endorphins are the happy hormones. So we really wanna keep those guys hanging around. So what can we do about forward head posture and restoring our cervical curve? So as we discussed in the very first video, your neck should actually curve forward and then your upper back should curve backwards. But forward head posture is when it starts to go like that, which isn't great. So what do we do about it? Well, ideally, first get adjusted because if your joints aren't moving properly and you're getting the wrong signals sent around your body, you're gonna have a lot harder time in making these changes. The things that you can do at home include an exercise called chin tucks. And now this isn't gonna look very pretty, but I'll demonstrate anyway. Um, really good to do this in the car when you're at traffic lights and um, just don't worry about anyone looking at you. But what you want to do holding the steering wheel, you want to bring your head back and down and create a double chin. And that lets you know that you're probably doing it correctly. So this restacks the head upright on the shoulders and strengthens the muscles at the back of your neck, retraining them to hold your head upright on your shoulders. Um, something else that you can do at home that's really easy is the posture pole exercise. Now I'm not going to go over that now because that's in our previous video so go and have a look at that and that's something you can start doing immediately to improve your spine alignment and improve your posture, decreasing the risk of these effects from forward head posture. Um, there's another exercise as well that I did in our video on desk ergonomics, um, an exercise to do at the desk to decrease the forward head posture when you're um, working away so um, go and have a look at that as well and start doing those things to improve the health of your neck okay so um, as always if any issues give us a call at the office and I'll um, give you a call back when I can or feel free to share this video um, if you know people that have problems with forward head carriage or always complaining of neck pain, a stiff neck, stiff upper back, send them this video and the exercises might help them get out of trouble. Okay, until next time.